จะคนเธอไรมาต้องไปฉายไอ้จะบูคุยไฮฟ้ามีต้องบอกว่าฝาผิดเลย I'm here to say no to Taiwan on the personal side it's it's very very nice people were very welcoming I really like the place it's a, it's a very convenient place also a beautiful place so uh, and good food so of course I had a, a very good first impression about uh, about Taiwan. I've always been passionate about space since I'm a child because to me space is uh, something we don't know much, you know, something we need to explore and this is for us, uh, the, I think, the next step of, of humankind to, to go to space and, and discover more things there. So I decided to be a space engineer because in my, in my French university we must do an internship every summer and I wanted to go to, to Asia and one of my friends been to Taiwan before and he said oh you should look at Taiwan it's, it's good so I'm like okay I, I check what I can find for space in Taiwan for space internship and I see uh, uh, NCKU had a, a space program so I sent an application with, with some friends to, to apply there to, to do an internship and I got uh, uh, accepted. So then I did my internship and I like it so much that when I came back to, to France, I managed to, to make a partnership between uh, NCKU and my French university. So I could come back for a double degree, a double master's degree in 2009 and again, keep working on the small satellite program at NCKU. And uh, I was working on a different European CubeSat. I hesitated between keep going to work there or make a PhD. Then, I decided to go for a PhD because I was thinking if I don't do my PhD now, I will never do it. Then I had to think where to do the PhD because I also had an offer in Singapore and another offer in Germany. So I had to choose. Yeah, he said, come, come. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, he gave some advice, but uh, I believe he was also happy that I come, so you know, it of course advised me to, to join, to join the team, which I did. Actually, he's the one I sent my open application in 2007. The project uh, uh, they proposed me to work in Taiwan was a, a European project, a CubeSat project, with many other countries in, in the world, actually, but uh, led by Europe. So I like this idea and I was interested in this project, so I finally chose Taiwan for the PhD. I'm going to tell you that if you want to do a space, it's a very good choice. You can see that we have money, we have things, we have people. If you want to do it, you can do it. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to sleep. 想办法说服他好，在欧洲你要去设立一个太空产业、太空公司来讲，这竞争太大了。那我说你不如在台湾设立啊，因为台湾没有太空太空产业，你设立的第一个。We think it was a good timing because we we could see the the, the space industry was or at least. The interest on, in space activities in Taiwan was growing and growing and growing. We, we started in Tainan because 
we work on a uh, on project with NCKU, so it was easier actually to be uh, next to NCKU to, to work. This is the reason. I could see that Taiwan had more and more interest in uh, space activity. And also Taiwan, as a, as a leader, as a world leader in, a, in the semiconductor industry, and Taiwan had a lot of uh, highly qualified people and a lot of uh, industry and facilities which were used for semiconductor, but which can be used for space industry too. US is very strong, France is very strong too in, in uh, space and other countries in Europe like, like we see also in, in Luxembourg now, it's, it's, uh, it's growing a lot. But um, in, uh, in Taiwan, Taiwan has the capability. I have to say, one thing that I really liked about coming to Taiwan is that, you know, I could have also gone to Europe or the United States. Because there's a very developed space industry. It's, uh, it has been around for 30, 40, 50 years. Taiwan is very ambitious. So that's what's very interesting is there are many projects going on and there are many things that can be done as a young engineer, which I wouldn't be able to do in Europe or in the United States. And also now, since we opened the company in Europe, we see that uh, what we can do in Europe and what we can do in Taiwan can be complementary. So each, each of the company can, can help each other on, on different sides. And this is why we think uh, uh, keeping Taiwan is, is good. Taiwan is located in Asia. And Asia is, is becoming the second biggest market in the world for small satellites. So Taiwan is, is quite well located. So I think Taiwan could be a big player, a big worldwide player in space, on specific technologies for space, and on adding values for data. That's what Taiwan could be.